Hey guys, it's Connie here, and I am back with another Traveler's Notebook setup. Um, this is for the month of October. I have been a little behind on these just because I was traveling towards like the end of September, so I didn't really get to like a chance to like sit down and put it all together. So it was like really sad not having a Traveler's Notebook with me. So yeah, I decided to just go ahead and put the put it all together and get it started. I am actually transitioning out of my um, Scarlet and transitioning into a Moonlit. Um, they're number fives, which equivalent to a B6. And I am doing like voiceover style. So like if you guys see my hands, they don't really like match what I'm saying. That's why. Um, but I thought this would be a really good um, what is it, planner to use for October. It is super durable. It says Hello Foxy in the corner. It's rose gold. It um, was a mystery sale item that I ended up go getting. It was fully loaded. I love it. So I'm just going to remove all of the inserts that I have in here and then um, kind of start out with like a blank notebook and I will be right back after I do that. So now I have here all of the things that I'm going to be using to put together my TN. I have those clear dashboards from Foxy Fix. I have the Annie Plans printable inserts. I use the week on two page layout, the regular box ones, and it has October, November, and December. And I'm also using the week on one page with the dot grid or the regular grid, I guess, on one side. And I like to use that for like just pen. Um, quick jotting pre-planning style so and then here I have a bunch of different things that I all see I uh, got at Michael's so I got these binder clips as well as some elastic I was going to try to make some um, paper what are those um, pen clip things but I didn't get to do that I also have this black ribbon here that I did not end up using I have um, traveler or journaling cards and little um, project life cards that I used to get from a subscription from Studio Calico and so they do have some foiling on it which I thought were super cute I do end up using these these are probably one of my favorite ways to decorate is pulling in the journaling cards I think it adds a great layering effect so I'm just running through the um, what is it the decorations on each of them I really liked that just as you are one it kind of keeps me grounded I thought it would be a good quote to have through October and when Halloween happens so um, if you guys don't know I do try to do one of these every month um, so I do coordinate it with whatever's going on in the month and of course October is for Halloween so I am decorating for Halloween I brought in as much Halloween things that I could find I really like the silver sheet even though you're gonna see a lot of gold and black incorporated into it but oh well I thought it would, it says like My Little Pumpkin and like spooky on it, so I thought it was cute. And then the papers that I'm using are all from Hobby Lobby. They are the just single sheets that you guys can get for like 59 cents there. And so I picked up some uh, Halloween ones and I cut them down already to fit my dashboards. And I love these. I couldn't find a good paper pad that I like that had the like Halloween effect to it that I was looking for. I also did end up printing out some vellum and I did not end up using it and I also have these two extra sheets as well. I do end up using it in the video but I ended up taking it out later as I got to use my TN a little bit more. I realized it wasn't my favorite thing. I had cut it too long so I don't know. I just felt like it didn't flow very well even though the vellum is very pretty. And it was really simple to print out. I just stuck the vellum paper in it. I just printed it like I regularly did and let the ink dry. I think letting the ink dry is probably the most important part because with vellum, it doesn't saturate it as well, I guess. And so it does take a little bit longer for it to dry. And I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I think I was checking my phone or probably turning on some music to get started. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with the process and I'll see you guys in just a little bit.
Okay, so this last dashboard here, I had a little trouble getting the dashboard like paper actually into the clear dashboard um, because the stickers that I'm using are thickers. And if you guys have not worked with thickers, they are a little thicker than normal sticker paper. So they do have glitter on them. They do have texture. They add a lot of dimension to your um, dashboards. But it is tricky trying to like maneuver them into the, uh, the clear dashboards if you guys are using that. You can't really laminate over them either. It is really hard for the um, lamination to like completely seal with those. So um, just keep that in mind when you are using these. But I found these, um, that sticker set at Hobby Lobby, which almost everything here is from Hobby Lobby except for the glue pen that I'm using. That is the Prima glue pen from, I got it from a local craft store. But I just added that um, in there just so you guys can know where I'm using those materials. I was like real confused on where I wanted what at the moment. I really, really loved the way that that sheet turned out, the boo one with the ghosts. And so I thought that originally I would really like the Halloween that does like happy Halloween, spooky and all the words. But I realized um, not so much. I liked the boo one way better. So I'm just trying to figure out like how I want to lay out my... Um, planner where I want the stupid vellum sheet to go and basically just like how I wanted to decorate the inside of it or what I wanted the layout to look like really. Um, once I put it all together though I loved the way that it turned out. I just like I didn't really know what I was like going for until it kind of all came together at the very end um, and I'm going to do like a quick flip through so you guys can see what it looks like. And here is the flip through. So everything turned out super well. I loved it. I love that I chose to move into my moonlit for this. I think it's just beautiful. It is a black elastic if you guys did not, or a black band. Um, and I did use a jump band as well. So I did use more inserts than I thought. Um, even though technically like the two that I only use are, or I guess three is that I have a dot grid one and then the two Annie Plants ones that you guys saw from the beginning. And here I'm just going through and adding some binder clips to kind of hold the dashboards together with the first page of each thing. I also like to put a, dash, uh, a clip on this page right here because it holds all my sticker pages together. And so basically um, that's really all it is. So here's just again a quick flip through. You guys are gonna see me put these paper clips on as well, which I thought you guys would like to see. Um, I do like to clip again the first page and the um, dashboard together. I don't know, preference, I like to just open it up right up to the front page. I like to do that for the back as well. Um, I used the spider paper in the very beginning, then I used this cat Halloween paper in the middle with the um, other inserts that I have, like my scribble one. I really like the way that I put the Halloween kind of into a half circle or semi-circle. I thought that was just like super clever. And the 31 number motif is up throughout the planner because, I don't know, I just find that it was like really cute. It kind of gave off like a sporty feel without being sporty. It's football season here in Texas. I'm sure it's football season everywhere else, but it's like real big here. So um, then I put the kind of like simple one in the background. I put the vellum right there which I do end up moving, and then I used to be eek one in the very, very back. So that is basically my entire setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I loved putting this together. I thought it was so much fun, and it just, I don't know, it made me feel excited for the holidays, and I feel like think or Halloween is like the kickoff to all of them. So it's like Halloween, then it's Thanksgiving, then it's Christmas, then it's New Year's. So, I don't know, I'm just excited for the holidays, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next setup video. If you guys have any questions on where I got anything, how I put anything together, what I use, definitely leave a comment down below. I will definitely try my best to answer every single question, and other than that, thanks for listening, guys. Bye.